Good morning, Scott here. Work for Peace International Helpers. Uh, wanted to give you a few tips of what you should bring. Um, during the couple weeks I'm here, I've kind of, you know, realized some things that you should definitely not leave home without, although most of these you will be aware of anyway. Um, one of the most important things, toilet paper. Now, I'm not sure if you can buy this here, I'm sure you can, but generally speaking, I don't think it's something that's used very commonly. You might want to bring a couple of rolls of this just in case. Um, I brought one. It's looking pretty low at this point. A little bit worried about that, but I think that uh, I'll be able to remedy that today in town, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, toilet paper, very important. You can see behind me, this is the bed. Definitely has warm enough blankets, but I would suggest bringing a sleeping bag. Um, if you have one of the ones that goes down to low temperature, I would bring that just in case. Keep warm. It's cool here at night, most of the year around. Daytime temperatures vary a lot, obviously, by season, but <clears throat> you might want to throw in that sleeping bag. I would also suggest sheet. Bring a sheet for the bed. Um, they do have them here. The thing is, um, a lot of these blankets and things are very sort of musty and mildewy, um, which is no problem. It's, it's totally fine for me, but um, if you have any allergies or you, you know, I don't know, the, the smell might kind of get to you. So, sleeping bag and sheet, good idea. Plenty of pillows, not the softest pillows ever, but not easy to travel with a pillow either, so should be fine. Um, towels. Bring a couple of towels. I would do that for sure. Um, I've gotten a towel or two from here. One of them was fine. One of them was more like a large um, dish towel. Um, so it wasn't quite doing the job. Maybe bring a, um, a regular towel. You could also bring one of those travel towels that dry, you know, dry pretty quickly. That way it won't take up too much space in your bag, right? Uh, other things. Warm clothes. Definitely bring warm clothes. Uh, Things like long underwear, you may not think you would need that, but man, does that ever keep you warm. I would bring stuff like that. Um, warm coat, bring a warm coat. Now this depends on the time of year, right? And it depends also what you plan on doing. If you're gonna go trekking and things, you definitely want a warm coat if you're in the higher altitudes, right? So I would say warm clothes for sure. Um, warm jacket, I didn't bring a warm jacket. I live in Thailand, I don't have one. So I just have a few layers. I have a hoodie and a fleece, basically, and some long underwear, which is doing me fine, but I'm a little bit thin and I get cold pretty easily. So I would actually pretty much love to have a you know down jacket or something like that. Now, I'm here in April, um, springtime. Give you an idea of the seasons. Daytimes here right now um, are nice. Um, you know, warm enough, although I'm still wearing pants and like a hoodie and stuff. Um, nighttime, it's definitely cool. Um, winter, of course, about November to February, um, definitely, you know, like Canada style or northern US, parts of Europe kind of winter, um, needing your warm clothes. Um, springtime, as I said, is right now. Also, the dry season is through the winter and spring. Uh, rainy season starts around June, goes till about September, should be over by late September, so uh, be aware of that. Definitely bring your rain gear. You might want to bring it anyway, you know, because it kind of rains randomly sometimes, but there is a dry season and a wet season. Monsoon season, June to September. So if you're coming during that time, definitely bring your rain stuff, your waterproof stuff. Um, shoes, of course, hiking shoes, you want to have that. Maybe some other kind of alternative shoes that you have, comfy shoes, something like that. Um, <clears throat> if you're here during the summer, flip-flops are the standard for ne Nepali people, so definitely want to bring stuff like that. Um, other stuff, you know, your sunblocks and all that kind of stuff, good idea. Higher altitudes, strong sun, so you want to bring stuff like that. And it's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. Um, so, yeah, be prepared. Check our website. We, we will include all these things on our website as well, um, along with, with this video, but also, uh, you know, lists of things that we can help you with. We're going to want to help you every step of the way to make you feel as comfortable as you can, um, as we can, and, you know, so that you're totally prepared and confident on your way to Nepal. Work for
for peace.org.